Greetings adventurers, Frost here. Today I wanted to make a video on how to AoE farm. It's probably the most common question I get on my stream, and it's not an easy question to answer necessarily. It's much easier just to show. So I wanted to make a video that I could use to give to people when they ask on stream and to help you guys out because a lot of people have told me that they try it 22 and then they have issues doing it. And I really think this will help people learn how to do it correctly. So just getting into it, as you saw, I just pulled this and then I just ran away a little bit to create a little bit of extra distance between my first and second blizzard off the first Frost Nova. Otherwise, as you can see, they already make it really close to me. But if I hadn't moved away, they would have already started hitting me before my blizzard ended. And then since one of them resisted the Frost Nova there, I just finished them off with Arcane Explosion since I wasn't going to be able to get a blizzard off to slow them. And then a wand end. And then here on the pull, I pull with a rank one Frost Bolt to use less mana, then I body pull two more mobs, and then this last mob I go and hit with a rank 1 fire blast, so I don't have to get as close and it uses less mana. I wait for them to group on me, frost nova, and then I run away. I try and get as much distance as I can, so I'm at max blizzard range and I put the blizzard right on the edge of them, so they have that whole distance to walk through the blizzard, because you want to have the whole blizzard do damage. You can see that very last tick still hit all four of them, and that's what you want. Move away again, put another blizzard down, and then have the whole blizzard do damage again. And then once they reach you, then you frost nova them, or you can arcane explosion, frost nova, and then they resist it again, and I just finish with the frost nova. Again, if they you don't resist the frost nova, you can just frost nova them and do one more blizzard to finish them off. And then once you get to a higher level, you're going to be able to do a lot bigger pulls, like those last two pulls were only four mobs, but you're going to be able to do a lot bigger pulls. I'm going to show you one more pull at a low level, and as you can see, rank one fire or rank one frost bolts, body pulls, rank one fire blast to gather them up. And then you frost nova them. Now, this pull got a little messed up because I ran up to this mountain and it, they were just out of range. So I had to drop down, put another blizzard, and the frost nova broke early. And then they weren't slowed enough, and that whole blizzard wasn't going to do damage. So, because that whole blizzard wasn't going to do damage, and I know that I have to get like at least two full blizzards off to kill these mobs, I just reset the pull because that was, was not going to be a good pull. And here's the pull that I'm at 25. I'm able to do a lot more mobs here, so I put a rank 1 frost bolt on the mob in the back to pull all three of those mobs with one pull, then I body pulled and I used rank 1 fire blast to pull one of the mobs that were further away to make the pull as big as possible. Then again I create the distance, put down the blizzard, and let them slowly take all the damage. And again, once the blizzard ends, I'm going to create a little bit more distance between myself and them and put down another blizzard. And then you go ahead and frost nova them. And I make a mistake here by moving before I did the frost nova. If I would have stayed still and frost nova and then moved, leeway wouldn't have been triggered and I wouldn't have taken those like four to six hits, hits that I took right there and I would have saved myself a lot of damage. Now here they started running away in fear, there's no way to like really blizzard them and actually hit them all, so I just started wanding them to do damage to like some of the higher health mobs to wait for them to come back to me. And then once they're back, I'm going to hit them with a frost nova and just finish them off with arcane explosion. Now, a common issue when you're AoE farming is mobs resisting your frost nova. If one mob resists your frost nova, it messes up the pool. So there is one thing that you can do to kind of fix it, and that's using Cold Snap to reset your cooldowns to get another Frost Nova off. So you'll be able to see it here in this pull. I just pull with my mount and Ice Barrier. I still use Counterspell to get mobs that are extra far because I didn't want them to evade and run away. So that gave me a little extra distance. As you can see, this mob resisted. So I Cold Snapped and Frost Nova again to get them all frozen, and then I created my distance, and now you're back to Blizzarding from a full distance. And again, I always do this. I always create extra distance between my two blizzards because otherwise they're going to get really close. Now that mob just respawned, which messed up my pull. So I include that mob. I just bring my mobs to him and I put him inside the Frost Nova also. Now I'm not really planning on killing this mob. I just wanted to keep control of him so he wasn't just attacking me while I was trying to kill the rest. So now I'm just going to finish them off with one or two more blizzards. And then I'm just going to leash away that mob and let him uh, run back. I'm not going to kill it. 
I'm just gonna Frost Nova him with a rank one Frost Nova and just run away. Now, there's also another type of pull that you can do that makes you take the least damage possible inside of a pull, and that's using Ice Block to pull. Or, well, not really to pull, more to gather them. So, as you can see, I gather them with my mount, and I get really unlucky right here, and I get one hit dazed, which dismounts me, which is annoying. Now, luckily, I'm level 50, so I can use, I have the extra mana to use Blink. So here I Ice Block, because those mobs were all going to be hitting me while I waited for those extra mobs to get to me. Now I wait for a bunch of hits to go by so that most of their autos are on cooldown before I end my Ice Block and Frost Nova and then I run away. You can blink away, but as you can see, since I blinked twice on this pull, I'm not going to have enough mana to kill them. Luckily, I have Evocate up, so it's not really an issue. And then you can always use a Mana Pot too, or a Mana Gem if you have one made. I don't have a Mana Gem made here, which is bad. You kind of always want to make sure you have a Mana Gem made. Like if you use one on a pull, just instantly remake your Mana Gem before the next pull but sometimes you forget and then that can cause issues. But yeah, two blizzards, frost nova, you can throw in Kona colds in if you want because they're uh, they are more mana efficient than a blizzard so they are nice to put in. And then here I didn't let the full evocate go off because if I would have they would have broke early so I got a couple ticks before I put down my blizzard and that finishes them off. Now I'm going to show you a pull where I don't use ice block. Like in this pull, the pull didn't even go that well, and I still ended with over 600 health. I had a daze on the third mob I pulled, but here's a, when I pull a group of mobs without ice block, and just watch how much more damage I take on this pull. And I don't get dazed. So here I wait and I'm just taking tons of damage. I have to Frost Nova before they're even all gathered and I'm still all the way down to 345 health. So that pull was obviously a lot more dangerous than not using Ice Block, or than using Ice Block, which I should have done since Ice Block was up off cooldown. But you can still do it and you just continue to use the strat. And you can actually, as you can see here, you can get a third Blizzard off potentially if you do your movements correctly, especially if you use Blink between uh, blizzards you can definitely get a third blizzard off but again you have to be really careful because having enough mana is one of the biggest things for when you're aoe farming and that's why you want to prioritize stamina and intellect on your gear that's all you care about while leveling as a mage because spell power or frost spell damage blizzard only has like a 15 percent ratio so if you have 100 spell power you're going to get about 15 more damage over your entire eight second blizzard so 100 spell power is going to increase each tick of your blizzard by maybe one or two damage, which is definitely not worth it over just having the extra intellect to maybe be able to cast an extra blizzard or to be able to cast extra arcane explosions, whatever you need to actually finish a pull, or maybe even get a blink off to keep your life better or ice barriers, anything like mana is king as a mage. And then stamina is good because that just makes you have more life so that you're less likely to get killed, right? Now this pull is actually the pull that I hit 60 on. I did use AoE farming for a majority of the time while I leveled to 60. There was a couple levels where I did dungeon farming because I was able to get in some raid farming, although even the five man dungeon spam is some really good XP. So if you're getting tired of AoE farming in a certain spot, you really don't like a certain location or something like that, join a dungeon, SM, ZF, BRD, they're all really good for XP. But yeah, AoE farming is definitely doable it's faster than questing also i tried questing in ngoro and i actually only got about 40k xp an hour compared to 90k that i was getting at dalson's tears so aoe farming is the way to go for leveling as a mage and if there's some spots in my guide that aren't good like the swamp of sorrows murloc or sorry the swamp of sorrows spiders don't have very many spawns compared to private servers so it's much better to go to like um badlands or something and farm there so if you need want to have any questions about where to go or what you need to do for aoe farming come join or come to my twitch page and people ask me questions all the time there but anyways like the video if you liked it hit the subscribe button and as always i will see you all on azeroth